So this will be part 24 and this is where we currently are. If we click on new country, we have a, a, a form to add a country detail, but when we click on save, nothing happens. So in this class right now, we are going to write the function to actually save some data into the database and actually refresh uh, this table to actually reflect what has been added. So if you are joining for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And if this is actually your first time seeing me teaching Fleet MS version 2, you need to go back to the start from the beginning. If you have any challenges, please let me know. All right, so let's go to work on this. So we want to add uh, a new country. So there are a number of things we need to do. First, we need to write the controller method that is going to insert a country into the database using the repository. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the service and I actually, I actually played around with it. So you need to write a method in the service. So I'm going to call this method public void. It's going to be a void method that is going to simply save country data. So it's going to take a country and simply say country uh, repository dot save and uh, save the country. So this method is going to take a country parameter that's going to be coming from the URL, from the form, and then save it. Now we've written the uh, method in the service. Now let me write the method in the controller as well. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to say this time is going to be a post mapping to... Now if you are saying a post mapping and you want to insert a new country, you are going to, going to insert it into the same URL that you that is displaying the list of countries. That's the best practice. So the same URL slash countries as where you're inserting a new country and that's where you are getting a new country from, a country from. So I'm going to say countries here. So it's going to be exactly the same URL like this one. Okay, that's the best practice. So I'm going to write a method public string. So it's string because it's going to return the list of country refreshed with the new data that's been added. So public, I mean, just call it save to keep it simple. And it's also going to take a country data and simply say country service dot save and save the country. And now it's going to return, it's going to return a refreshed list, right? So how do we return a refreshed list? That the list is going to refresh with a new detail. We are going to return it this way. You're going to say return redirect like this and specify slash and then specify countries so this is how you uh, refresh the list so it's going to return this, the list of countries but this time it is it's going to be refreshed with the new data that has been added all right so we now want to go back to the ui now let me just check to make sure everything is okay fine um so let's go to the UI. We're going to make some changes to this UI. So the first changes we are going to make is to make sure that this button is submit instead of uh, instead of an anchor tag. It's going to be a button. So you're going to, we are going to change it from A to button and change the type to submit. That's what we are going to do with the first button. That is this uh, save button here. The second thing you need to do is we need to move, kind of move this, um, um, we need to move this into the form. The button has to be inside the form. So we are going to move this session here. We're going to move this session, uh, if I can get it correctly, we are going to move it right into the form like this. Yeah, so it has to be inside the form for it to work. So let me just run it to make sure I've not broken anything because it's always good to check that you did not break something uh, once you make some changes so that uh, if you break something, you actually know where the problem is coming from. So I always like to go back to the home here, go back to countries, new country, and you see something is actually broken as you can see here. So let's go kind of uh, look for where it's coming from and then fix things. Um, so we have this form here. Okay, so um, okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move this form. Um, maybe I can just undo what I did uh, prior to this time. Okay, so I'm going to move this form, the form tag uh, out. So 
So let me just collapse all this so that I can uh, uh, move the form tag to enclose the buttons. Just collapse these as well, collapse these. Let me just uh, take out these comments because they are not, uh, they are not, uh, they don't, they, they are not necessary. Okay. So you can see everything is clear right now. So what we want to do now, we want to move the form to enclose this panel. So let me and collapse this as well. So I can move it, uh, the, the form to somewhere here. So leaving two deep tags like here. So I'm going to put the form, uh, have one, two, just under the row, like here. So how this, one here so i'm going to put here so that's what i normally do so i'm going to simply move this form from here i'm going to cut it and put it right here and move it the closing form tag i'm going to cut it and put it right here and then i'm going to rerun this application let's just check again that we've not uh, broken anything all right, so I'm going to refresh this page and I think it's better now. So we have our form attack and closing the buttons as well. The next change you need to make is to change the names of the inputs to reflect the names of the fields in the data model. So in this case, for description, we are going to change. Actually, the ID is not necessary. Just the name is quite necessary. So I'm going to change it to description. And I'm going to do the same thing for capital. So I'm going to the inputs here. So the name is going to be capital. And do the same thing for nationality. So the input name is equal to nationality. So you're going to be exactly the same name you have in your data model. And I'm going to come here and say input name is equal to continent. <coughs> And finally, for the last one here, name is going to be code. All right, and then we need to make the final change now. The final change is that we are going to tell the form where to submit this uh, data. And the, where it's going to submit this data is to, uh, to this place, to slash countries. And how do we specify this? We are going to first come to the form and say that the method, <coughs> sorry, we are going to say the method is going to be post and then the action, it has to be th action is equal to specify, I uh, think, at sign and then open and close and now specify the URL, which in this case is slash countries. Let me just cross check, it's slash countries, that is fine. All right, so once you make these three changes, so I think four changes, one, you move the button into the form, secondly, you rename all the um, controls, reflect the name of the fields in the data model, second, now, and then you change the, the name of the button, from the, the button type from the anchor type from a button type, and type is going to be submit, and then you're also going to change the action to th action for the form, and then um, direct it to the, the, the UR the method in the controller and now I'm going to run this and let's see if everything works and then if everything works then we now talk about delete all right so it started so let me kind of refresh this page uh, refresh okay so let's let's add a new country I'm going to add a country like um, I already have India because I have many of my friends in India so let me add United Kingdom because and finally the code is UK. Save. Okay, so you can see it added right here, okay? So to show it's not a joke, let me just add another country. This time I'm gonna add France. I'm going to add capital is Paris. And nationality is French. And the continent is Euro. And the country code is FR. And I'm going to click on save and it's saved and you can see French added, France added here. Now we've not done valid validation, we're going to be doing validation a little later. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. In the next nice part, we are now going to do delete and then we do update and then we do validation and then we move on to other modules. So remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also feel, 
feel free to leave me a comment if you have any challenge whatsoever following this, these lessons. I remain times on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.